Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I thought it would be fun to try to do this video as a premiere. And when you enable that function, you can chat with people while your video is playing for the first time. So I thought that sounded super cool. So I thought, let's try that and see how it goes. I love interacting with you guys. And I am so excited about this order, I cannot even tell you. So the let's just get right into it. So the order I have here is Destination Wax. And I honestly have not been this happy with an order. I don't think since I started buying wax again, I am so excited about this order. I just, I can't even. <laughs> so I was talking with a friend and she was saying that she was really wanting to simplify her wax buying and collection and whatnot. And I totally get that. I was thinking that if Destination Wax can continually open up at the first of the month and you can get what you need, like honestly, I think Destination Wax would probably be in my top three vendors and I would just buy from her continuously because you can buy loaves. And honestly, I like warming the same scent over and over if I really like it. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I was super stoked about this. And I have Ramona, Ramona Tolk, if you don't know who she is on YouTube, seriously is the nicest, human she so i had bought from destination wax in was it 2016 2017 ish and i didn't have good luck ramona had bought from destination wax i think continuously and she finally talked about moon spice cookies and i was like you know what i trust ramona let me go try it so i had reordered and then i had fabulous luck with destination wax so i think not really 100% sure. I don't know if this is like announced in her group or whatever, but I think she upped her oils and her wax. I think that's what most vendors end up doing when they don't get good wax throw is they either reformulate or they up their oils in their wax. So not really sure, but whatever she did, it's working. I love it. Okay, when I get really excited, I start talking really fast, so I need to slow my roll. I warmed through a ton of her stuff before this June reopening and I found a few scents that I really love. I also saw on the Facebook group, a lot of people were like asking for certain scents over and over and I was like, you know what, I should try that. If people keep commenting on it, I should just add that to my order. So let's go ahead and get in. So now Destination Wax has always been to me kind of, I think I said this in my first video ever from Destination Wax that I feel like her wax just presents itself like a more what's the word, bougie, <laughs> bougie wax. Like her, her concept is clear. Her designs are simple. It's just, it's clean. It's just, it's like a, it's like high end. It feels like to me, like a high end wax, even the scents. Like I feel like also one thing I want to say before I forget, I feel like you go to destination wax for fresh scents, now, that's not necessarily true. I know some people like some of her bakeries, but if I want bakery, I like I would probably go to a different vendor. Now, she does have some good bakeries that I do like, like what's the one? Cronut, Jelly Cronut. Yes, Jelly Cronut. I love I do really like that scent. But I also really love some other vendors' bakeries better because they mix a lot more and I feel like Destination Wax is a little bit more not, I don't want to say simple, but I feel like it's, uh, I don't know. You'll never see strawberry pound cake, cotton candy frosting, vanilla wafers. What else? <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? Like you'll never see like blends, cr crazy blends like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this. So this is the sample bag that you get everything in. I love getting this. It's been such a long time since I've had a Destination Wax order that it was fun to get that. It was also wrapped in this cute craft tissue paper or craft color tissue paper with the washi tape that's super fun. Actually, it probably help if I turned it around here. So that's what it looks like. Just super cute, whimsical, just fits her aesthetic perfectly. So also you get a handwritten note, which I think is so nice. Like she actually takes the time to write a little message and it just says, thank you, Kimberly. I don't know what that says. I heard in Lacey's video, her I heard her say that it meant happy June. So, oh, also I'm going to up the volume on this. I had Elizabeth, if you happen to be watching this, the volume, if you guys are having trouble hearing me, let me know. 
I am gonna up the volume on this in the editing part to see if I can make this a little bit louder. I don't really know what's going on with that, so I'm gonna see if I can fix it. Okay, so let's get into the samples. And if you did order from Destination Wax, if this is a live video, uh, you know, if you're able to chat, let me know what your favorite Destination Wax scent is because there was a few that I didn't order that I wish I had ordered now. So this first sample I have is Iced Lemon Biscotti and this is Rich Lemon Biscotti with a Creamy Lemon Glaze. Now you guys know I don't love lemon scents that much, but this one, I kind of feel like she got this one right because I feel like most people when they do lemon scents, they blow out the lemon crazy and it's always like lemon dominant. This one is a nice subtle lemon with bakery. So this one I could actually probably warm and enjoy. So that's a uh, first. <laughs> this next one is London Mist and I'm kicking myself for not ordering this one because I did hear people talk about this one and I just didn't, I had remember warming it before and I think this was when I wasn't getting a great throw. So I kind of disregarded this scent, but this is London Mist. This is a floral and lightly earthy scent overlaid with moss and swirling mist. This one is really fresh and it is a light, like it, it smells light when you smell it, but it, it still smells strong, like the fragrance is strong, but it smells almost like a, like a fresh air to me. Like truly like a London mist, I guess. Yeah, that's the name of it, London mist. It smells like a light air, almost with a little bit of like a, so, like a slight soapy note to my nose. That's just me though. Okay, the next one I have is Candy Cane Extra. And this is fresh peppermint and spearmint, sweet strawberries and vanilla extra minty. Ooh, this one's nice. Okay, I'm, I'm not hating on this one. I have a lot of peppermint scents in my collection. I also really appreciate that she sends samples because honestly, based on the samples, there's a few, actually two of these that I think I'm gonna order the next go around. So it does prove that samples do work. This next one is Sugar Vanilla Champagne. Effervescent champagne laced with sugared vanilla. And this one smells amazing. Oh, I really like this one. This one is, so you get kind of that fizzy pop, but not super fizzy pop. It says champagne, but I'm, I'm reading it more as like a, a subtle fizzy pop. And then you just get that sweet sugar vanilla scent. Really good. It's not overly fizzy or anything. So that is my sample, So the, or samples. So, so thankful for those to try. And I think London Mist was one that was recommended by a lot of people. So, and that sugar vanilla champagne smells really nice. Actually, all of them smell good. Lemon is not my thing, but that lemon I could actually tolerate and it probably will warm the sample just to see how I like it. So the first thing I have here is Lavender Woods, and this is a fresh woody lavender with musk and light sage. I did see that this was, I think it was like a limited edition or, what, 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 did, what did she call this? I don't know, but this is the only scent shot cup that she had offered. And this one was, I thought this was poured, I have one in here that was poured August of 2020. And I was like, ooh, this one's ready to go. But um, this one is ready to go as well, 227.21, so. This one I could put in a warmer today if I wanted to. So this one is like, you definitely get the lavender. It does have kind of what I would say is a masculine scent. Yeah, that's definitely what I would say, masculine. It's like a masculine lavender. Her lavenders, if you have not tried, if, you like, if you're a lavender lover, like you have to try Destination Wax, like, have to. <laughs> and I realized I just said like, like three times in a row. All right, let's get to the lows because these were ones that I was so excited to get into my possession. So the first one I have is Lavender Twilight and this is Sweet Lavender, Lilac, Tonka Bean, and Ylang Ylang compared to Lush Twilight. Okay, if you like Lavender Twilight, this probably is the best Lavender Twilight I have ever smelled. I warm this 
I had an owl from the last time I ordered and I went ahead and I warmed it throughout my entire house and I freaking loved it. I knew it was loaf worthy right away. You can see the shimmer that she puts on top. Just super simple, super simple, but pretty. Like just that little bit of glitter, just, I don't know, gives it something special. It's not too much glitter. It's not overly glitter. It's just a nice little misting. Oh, and this just smells so good. I don't know what she did to this. I feel like, I feel like somewhere, somewhere in the wax community, I heard that this was a, not just a single oil that she had mixed a couple of things together to make her own lavender twilight. And it does smell just like, I mean, it smells pretty close to the, the actual bath bomb. Now, of course the bath bomb itself has that, I always feel like bath bombs when you smell them, smell a little bit different in wax because you can't get that bath bomb smell. You know how bath bombs are kind of all made from the same ingredients, like the base of the bath bomb is what I'm saying. So it's not gonna smell exactly like it, but this one, just if you like lavender in general, I think you would really like this one. So that is the first loaf that I picked up. The next one I have is Ghostess, and this has been a favorite of mine for a long time. This is Parma Violet and Lightly Toasted Marshmallow. I was like, if I can get this in a loaf, like I'm totally gonna do it. Oh, and this one is so freaking good. I'm not the biggest floral lover, but Violet's just do it for me. Mixed with that marshmallow is just so freaking lovely, so. If you like violets at all, you should definitely try Ghostess. It's like a, it reminds me a lot of, it's different. It's not as powdery as Violet from VCS. If you like Violet from VCS, I think you should try Ghostess. I think you would really love it. The next one I grabbed is Lavender Manuka Honey. So this was one that I had warmed. Now this is Lavender and Bergamot blended with New Zealand Manuka Honey. Now I meant to look up Manuka Honey before I film this because I wanted to see, I, I don't feel like this is the honey that is really strong because when I warm this, I mostly get a lavender smell. I don't get a strong honey smell. To me, it's very subtle. Like it's not, like when you think of lavender with honey, you're probably just like, oh man, you know, like that's gonna be heavy honey or it's gonna be very floral. But to me, this is more lavender. When I warmed it, I, I almost didn't even like remember that it had honey in it. It's very subtle. like just gives it a little bit of sweetness, but I feel like that bergamot shines through as well. So I love this one. This is just a great lavender. If you like lavender scents, I think you would really like this one. Okay, so let's get into the bars. She switched over to these snap bars, I think she calls them. And I like, these are fine with me. So. She did have scent shot cups before, but if it's easier for her to pour these wax bars, I'm all in. So Lavender Tassie, I have never tried Lavender Tassie. I don't know what I was waiting for. Holy crap, if you like lavenders, you have to try Lavender Tassie. Actually, you have to try any of our lavender blends, to be honest. All the lavender I have smelled from her, I freaking love. So <laughs> Lavender Tassie, never heard of it, never smelled it. What the heck? What have I been missing? Okay, a clean lavender similar to Tasmanian lavender essential oil. I got this from another vendor of the scent, Lavender Tassie. And when I smelled this, I was like, oh my gosh. What have I been missing? <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this one. This, okay, so this almost like to my nose, what I'm picking up is I almost smell like a bit of a, like a unisex cologne. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you've tried lavender tassie. Let me know what you think it smells like. It kind of smells uh, clean, refreshing, kind of like with a cologne note. I can't wait to get this on a warmer and, and see how it is. Oh, I don't know. This, this is just freaking, I honestly, if I like this, I can see this being loaf worthy. There's also another lavender that I picked up in here, but I'll get to that in a minute. I've been wanting to try Magic Marshmallow. This is Magic Smell, smell. 
Magic Spell plus Creamy Marshmallow. I have this damn light on my camera here and it's not in a good position. Like I feel like everything's gonna fall over. Okay, so this is definitely Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. And her marshmallow is really good. When she mixes marshmallow with things, it's nice. It's not, I've had marshmallows before that are really like odd smelling. This one smells really nice. Mixed with that love spell, it's just, it's perfect. So, go, okay, this one is, oh, okay, I wanted to try stainless steel. So this is a clean and fresh musk with citrus, ozone, sea moss, and light floral notes. I wanted to try stainless steel on its own. I never have, I was curious. Oh, okay. I was expecting this to smell completely different. I, like I've smelled stainless steel in blends before and I always thought it always did smell like stainless steel if you it, if like stainless steel had a smell kind of a masculine scent but this one smells it smells fresh airy kind of unisex cologne scent going on it's so pretty though like I again I just don't know how to give it the accolades it deserves or accolades what the hell <laughs> there I go with the big fancy words again that I'm just like what okay next one I have is toasted marshmallow and spearmint thank you to Elaine for helping me pick this one out I mixed some rose girls toasted mar was it toasted marshmallow and spearmint that I had left over I liked the combo so I was like let me get that from destination wax because Elaine had talked about it so it's sweet toasted marshmallow and spearmint Different marshmallow than toasted marshmallow. No blazing campfire here. Oh, that's good to know. I don't like the uh, <laughs> I don't like the smoky toasted marshmallow. So, oh, and this one is just so good. I don't. I'm not the biggest spearmint lover, but with that marshmallow, it just really gave it something special. So, really like that one. I don't know if this one is like a low worthy type situation, but I think it'll be nice to warm. The next one I have is Thai Sticky Rice. I talked about this one in my last warm reviews. I really like this one. This one, the best way I can describe it is if you took rice, put it in a pan, browned it up, you can really get that rice as a base note and then you get the brown sugar and coconut as kind of the sweet part of it that really comes through. Yeah, I heard, uh, I'm gonna mention Lacey again because I watched her Destination Wax haul yesterday, I think it was and she was talking about this one and she was saying she could really smell the coconut milk in here because she doesn't like a certain coconut milk and this one has it now i'll say i i didn't necessarily get coconut milk like i didn't think coconut milk when i smelled this so it's probably hit or miss for people if you have a thing with coconut milk i mean i guess it is there because the brown sugar is not super dominant but this one when you warm it is really sweet but the rice really comes through too. So I, I feel like it, it's a good balance between the sweet and the, the rice. Okay, I grabbed lavender fresh. I mean, I, I had to. <laughs> Lightly floral lavender with a fresh soap note. I was like, that sounds so much up my alley. Oh, and this one is good. So this one is more soapy to me with just a hint of lavender to me on cold. Now I know cold is not the best way to. Oh, but it smells so good. I can see this one being loaf worthy. So good. Again, if you like lavender and if you like soapy notes, I think you should definitely give this one a try. Give all her lavenders a try for that matter. <laughs> the next one I saw, like I had Seen a few people talking about a few of these blends and I so I grabbed some of the ones that people were talking about I think Costa Sicily was one actually this one was on my list from the last order but I just never ended up getting it so lavender and violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast I love violets love lavender so I was like and salty ocean breeze so I was like this is a win for me so this one I, when I smelled this one yesterday, it was so weird. When I smelled it yesterday, I could smell the violets. Now I'm getting more, hmm, I don't know what I'm smelling. 
Yesterday I thought this scent was like spot on, but now I'm not like, let's see. I'll try to take this out of the bag. Okay, I kind of smell the violets a little bit better. So you do get the, the violet. This one's a little light to my nose for right now. It was just poured on 524, so. Well wait, we're in June, so it should almost be. I tend to, I think people ask a lot how often you, or how long you cure your wax for. And I always say, like I never say, oh yeah, you should cure your wax for a year or two years. Mine just happens to, to cure by default. Like I don't mean to do it, but when I get around to wax, sometimes it's it'll be a while before I get to it, you know? So it'll cure for a lot longer than I ever expect. It just, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. Like I just go for it when I feel like it. I just don't want it to get old is my main concern. I don't care about melting things like right away, right when I get them. Um, it is nice to kind of smell things and see if you're gonna like them. Like I probably will try to warm some of these things to see in the next ordering open, or to see in the next opening if I need to order them in uh, low form. Because honestly, I would like to have a few of these in loaves. Okay, rose water lemonade. A fanciful blend of rose water and sweet lemonade. When I smelled this on cold, I was like, no. I did this in a warm reviews when, I don't know, a while ago. And I was like, this one changed so much on warm. I absolutely loved it. The lemonade really came out of this one. And for me, lemonade is like everything. So lemonade for me and this one really worked. Yeah, you definitely get the rose scent. You definitely get that floral note. But I remember when I was warming this, I was like, damn, like, I really like this one. <laughs> and on cold, I did not like it at all. I was just like, oh my gosh, it is so like heavy rose, but the lemonade really comes out. So don't be scared of that one if you see it. Fresh Tide. Okay, who has been putting powdered Tide in their mop water? So I got one of those pump, um, pump, what is it called? I can't think of what it's called. It's that mop that has the little swirly thing in it and you pump the little lever and it turns the your mop. Anyways, I saw on a Instagram account, Go Clean Co. She puts Tide, she uses Tide for everything, powder Tide. If you've ever smelled powdered Tide in water, oh my gosh, it smells so freaking fresh, like so good. I could literally sit there and sniff fresh Tide in water <laughs> for the longest time. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this fresh Tide and see if it smells similar to the Tide that I've been using in all kinds of things. So this is clothes freshly laundered with Tide detergent. Okay, so this is pretty good. This is pretty nice. It smells more like Tide from the bottle, like when you're getting ready to wash your clothes with Tide. The powder Tide is a little bit more sweet and I don't think it's really captured here, but it's still pretty good. I'll try it and see if I can get on with it. <laughs> see if I like it, but I can definitely see me ordering another bar of this. Actually, everything so far I can see ordering another bar of. I'll have to figure out what's loaf worthy for the next um, opening. So this next one I have is Lavender Stardust. This is lavender, pink, sugar, peppermint, and a touch of vanilla. I saw a few people say that they wanted this or were ordering it. So I was like, well, let me just jump on board with that. This one is pretty good. I'm gonna need to get it on a warmer because you definitely do get the pink sugar and the peppermint and that vanilla scent. But the lavender is really nice in here. I was thinking for a second that it might be lavender vanilla, but I don't think it is. Lavender vanilla is very, I don't like lavender vanilla. Lavender vanilla to me is like, I don't know, whenever I smell it, I'm like, way to ruin the lavender. <laughs> I don't know why I think that. I don't know, maybe it is lavender vanilla. Who freaking knows, you know? But you definitely get the peppermint and the pink sugar in there. It is nice. I do like that one. Okay, I haven't, I did grab two lavender fresh because I was like, you know what? Chances are I'm probably gonna like that. Um, so next time I might order in a loaf. I don't know. I'm going to have to warm it. Luna. So this is the Scentsy Dupe. So this is bergamot, 
fragrant flowers, oak moss, vanilla, and tonka bean. I've always loved Luna. Like Luna was my first Scentsy like real love. And this smells exactly like I remember. I haven't smelled Scentsy Luna in a while, but this is probably the closest smelling Scentsy dupe I've smelled in a while. So Luna, if you've never had it, it's very feminine. It's girly. It's kind of, hmm. It's kind of a little sweet, but mostly it's like a girly scent is how I describe it. I did grab another Lavender Tassie just based on the other vendors. Lavender Tassie, I was like, I'm probably gonna like that. Need to see if I need it in a loaf. This is another one that a lot of people were suggesting on the what are you gonna order thread or post. It's a crisp ocean scent with fresh green seaweed in a good way and notes of ozone and cologne. I think this is the one that really surprised me. I was like, holy crap, this is good. Was it, or was I, you know, I was thinking this, like my husband would really like this one, I think is what I thought. I thought he would probably really dig this one. And I always try to think about him when I'm ordering too, because he likes the scents as well. Like when, you know, he'll always tell me, hey, can we get a smell good in the bedroom? Like he's always wanting something going in there. And then he'll tell me, he'll be like, oh yeah, this one's good, I like this one. Or he'll tell me, this one's too strong, whatever. He'll give it to me real. Cause this one is pretty good. This one is, I always smell cologne. I, I know that's probably irritating to some of you guys. Like I'm always like, oh, it's cologne. <laughs> but I think I definitely get the greenery in here, which could be a problem for me. I warmed something the other day that had a green note and it was really, like it really took, away and distracted from the scent for me. This smells cologne -y. it smells oceanic, not salty sea air, it's stronger than salty sea air. Is there ozone in here? Oh yeah, it says end notes of ozone. So I definitely smell, feel like there's ozone in here. I feel like it's ozone, cologne, and green. Like I think this the scent description is perfect for this one, so. Next one I have is Cape Cod Coast. So my friend Kristen had sent me a box of goodies. Thank you so much, Kristen. Like you don't even know. I've gone through and smelled everything and I was like, oh my gosh, like what is going on here? <laughs> but she sent me a custom that she did with Cape Cod Coast and Lemon Fresh. And I was like, I need to try Cape Cod Coast on its own. So thank you for enabling that. This is salty air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves, fresh cedar wood, and marine algae. I'm not even gonna try to say that next line because I'm going to screw it up so bad that, yeah, I'm not, not gonna do it. So this is the one that was light to me. Yeah, this is the one that I got and I was like, holy crap, this is like probably the only one I can't really smell. But when I had Kristen's blend, I could smell Cape Cod Coast in there. This one is very light to me, just on cold. So what I can smell it's hard to say. It's hard to say what I smell because I can barely smell it. Um, it. I know in the blend that Kristen sent me, it did smell really good. So I'm gonna give this one a chance. This one was poured on 4-23-21. So I, it should be ready to go because we're in June at this point. I wanted to grab Ivory Soap. I've been loving Dove Ivory. So I wanted to try hers or theirs. Yeah, and this is just, I, I mean, ivory soap. There's nothing else to say. It smells good. I like it. I don't know if that would be loaf worthy for me. I might just always have a bar on hand or just always have it on hand. And then I did want to grab Downy Blue Ultra. Not a lot of vendors carry this scent. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it by itself because I do have a few blends with this in it. And I can never tell, like I've never smelled Downy Blue Ultra on its own. So I don't know. A sweet laundry scent, flowers, fruit, citrus, fern, cedar, amber, and musk. Oh, that smells nice. Okay, so I was wondering if Downy Blue Ultra smells like Downy, but like amplified. I don't know. It's very pretty though. It's a very pretty laundry scent. Oh man, I can't wait to get this on a warmer too. Okay, so. That is my order. I'm super excited. Like when I got everything in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh. I can definitely see trying a lot more of her blends. She has so many blends, but she does have a lot of like, I noticed she has a lot of patchouli blends. She has a lot of, or I think she does have a lot of patchouli 
blends, I feel like. Patchouli's not my thing at all, so I try to stay away from that. She has a lot of lavender scents, which I highly recommend if you like lavender, you have got to order from her. Her scent throw is amazing. So just to give you an example, I can take one of her scent shots and cut it in half. I can put it in my open concept living room area on both my 24 watt warmers and I get great performance. So I can't say that about every scent shot cup I receive from other vendors. So her scent throw has definitely increased from when I ordered in 2016, 2017. If you go back, I think I did like a spotlight on Destination Wax at some point. And I said, you know, I think when I went through, I was like, you know, I'm not really getting good throw from this. It was very light. She's like up to her scent game. So, um, yeah, hopefully this worked out okay. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do this as a live video. Hopefully there's a chat happening. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite scent is from Destination Wax. There were a few others that I had kind of had in my head. There was another one, was it Wine Cellar? Oh yeah, Wine Cellar. Everyone kept talking about Wine Cellar, but when I read the scent notes, I was just like, I don't know, that just doesn't sound like my kind of scent. But everyone kept commenting they were gonna get Wine Cellar. There was a few that people were commenting on that they were gonna get Wine Cellar. Um, oh, the other thing is, I'm also wondering if she has, if anyone knows, I'm looking for a stress relief blend, and I believe it's Lavender Ozone, and eucalyptus. If anyone knows if she has a scent like that, I tried to look through her scent list document. I always try to search things out before I ask or, you know, make a post or whatever. Sometimes it's just not obvious, like, or you could look all day and somebody will be like, oh yeah, she has the oil, but she doesn't advertise it or it's not on her scent list. Sometimes that can happen too, so. All right, I feel like I'm talking like a manic person because I seriously am like so excited <laughs> about this order. Also, everything comes very clean. Uh, mostly the smudging on the bags is from me taking the scents out and smelling them. Like, <laughs> I literally like have taken some of these out so many times already and I've only had the order like two days. <laughs> so yeah, shipping was super fast as well. I got my order in... I think it shipped like, gosh, I got it on, was it Saturday? This Saturday, so the, what was it the 6th, the 5th? I don't know, it came super fast and the ordering time frame was uh, June 1st through June 3rd. So that's pretty dang fast. Super presentation, super clean. Yeah, she just really got it going on over there. So I'm super stoked. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I will definitely be looking at the July restock and seeing like, cause there's definitely some lows I wanna get and to try some new scents. Like Destination Wax, I would say, honestly, probably has jumped just from warming the stuff I had from the past, whatever, whenever time I ordered from her the last time, I've been warming through her stuff steadily and I've been like getting good throws. So, um, and I've been liking a lot of the scents. So yeah, I would say she's definitely in my top five or 10. I mean, it depends on how I rank them, honestly. I need to sit down and do that one day. But anyways, okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments how everybody's doing or if we're live chatting, let me know how you're doing as well. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And um, hopefully the volume is okay. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.